Okay, so this is kind of the top of the hand concepts and the skin directions for everybody. So I'm trying, I'm not a very good drawer, so I'm trying to demonstrate that these two joints sit lower. This is middle finger, this is index, obviously, thumb. Okay, so what, we've got to think in midline, I'm always talking about the skin getting pulled in one direction that it should go this way. But um, as I'm developing these concepts, you know, I'm still talking about quadrant, so, you know, the side would be one quadrant divide the arm into four, so this is the top side, and imagine the bottom side, okay? So, what happens is the, the hand kind of cups, and these two fingers come down. Um, they're more mobile at their base than the index finger and the middle. The problem is, once they pull down, they kind of pull everybody, or pull the skin with it, and pull the middle finger with it. So all of a sudden everything's kind of coming this way over midline, okay? Which I think is a major problem because um, if we think about the sensory nerves that come, you know, here and off the side of ring finger, okay? Um, that will traction those and then you've got the sensory nerve from this side coming here and on this side of the ring finger. So once everything kind of pulls this way and these fingers start to roll as well okay so now we've got this major kind of scenario going on middle will get pulled but index kind of stays straight okay the inside of this tip gets pulled in a little bit um and all the fingers get pulled that way but what i think is the biggest problem with that is now because all of this is rolled down this i always go in directions this kind of direction but this tissue will go, you know, tension the whole way through. So you've got these two pulling down. And then if somebody kind of pulls into more of an ulnar deviation position, like the whole wrist, uh, the whole hand part pulls that, and then it's short in there, then you've got all these points that the skin is not gliding freely back and forth over midline. So um, we need everything to get over across middle, middle finger up to midline. Otherwise, it tensions... This is like the dis this is the like radial collateral. This is the distal palmar crease. This is kind of the base of the thumb, kind of um, thumb. This is the wrist. Okay, so now you've got all these areas where you have tensions crossing those sensory nerves, as well as coming to points that um, will tension. And so I always think of the top skin and the bottom skin um, are different. So top skin and bottom skin and everything has to glide back and forth freely around those from the top to the bottom. But now we've got everything stuck on the top and tensioning on multiple sites of the radial nerve and everything stuck on midline. So you have to literally get little ring, uh, little ring, ring finger and small finger to come up and twist back around. They have to come up and twist back around. So if you were to even take your tools and work on the bottom side midline out midline out, same on the top, midline out, midline out, but the tissue has to restore back to this corner um, and kind of untension these same sites, okay? So um, you've got to get the wrist corrected. And the pro what I think is a huge problem with the thumb, this is the thumb, this is the hand, okay? Um, thumb, is the fact that now, many more colors can you use the um, the thumb gets twisted because of this okay and there's a little tiny part of sensory branch and radial nerve on the other side of the thumb and this is usually right here at the base where they have the pain and I think it's because it's tractioned around it gets stuck in this um, first dorsal um, uh, first dorsal and rossi eye right there um, rolls in and so if you want to get the thumb to fix you've got to roll it back this way you've got to get all the tissue onto this side of the thumb and stop this pull into this ulnar corner okay but you can untension that ulnar corner by bringing up this distal ulnar that the fingers lifting them up putting them back in um, and that will uh, correct so many things this is not just dorsal scars volar scars but this is just any kind of uh, scenario in the hand um, once these little branches of these nerves, the SBRN and the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve become tractioned, 
then we've got pain in the hand and we've got kind of limitations in motion because the body won't let you do something if it doesn't like it and it doesn't like this. Okay, hope it helps.